In this video, I want to show how to expand x minus y to the power of 6. So, we have different options. One option is to multiply x minus y 6 times and then simplify it. Or have x minus y squared times x minus y squared times x minus y squared. We can do that. Or we can have x minus y cubed times x minus y cubed. So, I choose this one. We already expanded each of them individually in other videos, so you can go back and check those in this channel. So basically, I want to have x minus y cubed. I want to expand it. The expansion will be x cubed minus 3x squared y plus 3xy squared minus y cubed. And we have the same thing, x cubed minus 3x squared y plus 3xy squared minus y cubed. So now I need to multiply each of them individually. This one, for example, by this, then this one by this one, then this one by this term, and finally this one by the other term. So we can need to do it for other terms. So in total, we, have, we will have 16 terms. And then we need to start simplifying. x cubed times x cubed, x to the power of 6. x cubed times negative 3x squared, this will be x to the power of 5y. Then we have 3x to the power of 4y squared when we multiply these two. And then we have x cubed, y cubed. Then this one times this will be negative 3x to the power of 5y plus 9x to the power of 4y squared when we multiply these two. This and this will be negative 9x cubed y cubed. Then we will have positive negative 3x squared y times negative y cubed. 3x squared y to the power of 4. Then I use this one plus 3x times x cubed will be x to the power of 4, y squared, minus 9x to the power of 3, y to the power of 3, plus 9x to the power of 2, y to the power of 4, negative 3x, y to the power of 5. <coughs> the final last one, negative x cubed, y cubed, negative, or it will be positive, 3x squared, y to the power of 4, minus 3x y to the power of 5 and plus y to the power of 6. <clears throat> so we must have 16 terms. If we don't have 16 terms, it means that there's something wrong. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that's correct. Now I start simplifying x to the power of 6. Next one is 5y. So we have negative 3. We have negative 3, so it will be negative 6. Then I have x to the power of 4, y squared. 3, 9, so it will be 12. 15, plus 15. Next one is x cubed, y cubed. Negative 1, negative 9, negative 10. Negative 10 and negative 9, negative 19. And with this one, it's going to be negative 20. Then I have x squared y to the power of 4. We will have <coughs> plus 3, plus 9, 12, 15. Then I have x y to the power of 5. So we have negative 3. Negative 3 will be negative 6. And then finally we have y to the power of 6. So that's going to be the answer. x to the power of 6 minus 6. x to the power of 5y plus 15. x to the power of 4y squared minus 20x cubed y cubed plus 15x squared y to the power of 4 minus 6xy to the power of 5 plus y to the power of 6. So that's how we expand x minus y to the power of 6.